y'all and welcome to today's video. We are going to be looking at some of the palettes in my collection and I'm going to tell you, would I repurchase these palettes if they disappeared from my collection? This video idea was created by Dolly Mama Beauty. Of course, I will have her tagged down in the description box below, but this is just a fun video. I've done these several times on my channel. I think this is the fourth video like this I've done now. Y'all seem to really enjoy it. And we're just going to go through these palettes. I'm going to tell you like if these palettes were new today, if they just launched, if I saw them announced on Trend Mood or Instagram or whatever, would I be hyped? Would I be buying these palettes? We're going to talk about it. Just a, just a way to kind of like follow up, maybe re-review some things. I'm excited about it. And if you're new here, I want to say, hey, my name is Heather and makeup makes me happy. Here at my channel, we don't try to be perfect. We just want to have a good time with our makeup, whatever that means. I do upload lots of new videos every single week, so I hope you will subscribe before you leave. But I have lots of palettes here in front of me, so let's jump into it. <music> Jumping right in, I will say I'm pretty sure all of the palettes that I talked about today, I do have videos on them. So if you want to see close-ups of these palettes, if you want to see swatches of the palettes, tutorials, things like that, please do go watch those videos. Like I said, I will tell you the videos as I go. I work very hard to bring great eyeshadow palette videos to my channel. So, so if you want to see swatches, anything like that, please do go watch those videos. I have so many videos here on my channel. So they're there. Let's jump into it though. Let's talk about a palette that I actually bought kind of recently. And this is the NARS Holiday Palette from 2022. This is the Stargaze Palette. Now, NARS is a brand I had had like single shadows and quads from before. It, this palette is hard to open. I always point that out. And it's just not easy to open, which I don't love, but there we go. So I had single shadows and quads from NARS before, and I thought the quality was nice, but overall as a brand, NARS tends to put out eyeshadow palettes that have a lot of shades that already exist in their line. So if you love NARS eyeshadows, you probably already know that. If you have a few things from NARS, you're curious about the brand, definitely when something new is released, compare it to what you have because a lot of times they'll just keep recycling the same shades over and over and over in their palettes which is kind of like a turn off for me I like to see things that are unique maybe different but this collection came out from NARS and it also came out with a blush palette that had all new shades so I was like perfect I bought the blush palette and I had to buy the eyeshadow palette too because I actually thought this was really fun from NARS they came out with a palette that was a mix of neutrals which is normally the NARS aesthetic which is cool I love color I love neutrals I love everything but this was so interesting to me because not only do we have those beautiful NARS neutrals we also had these purpley and kind of like raspberry tones in here. So I found that to be super interesting. Now, this is a really beautiful palette, really beautiful. I like the looks that I created with it. It's it's a great mainstream palette. If you're looking for something, well, I don't know if it's available anymore. I didn't think about that when I was pulling palettes, but if you were wanting to buy something at Sephora Ultra from, you know, a mainstream retailer, rather than an independently owned brand. This palette is amazing and I'm so happy I purchased it. This palette has dark mattes and light mattes. It has light shimmers and dark shimmers. It has color and neutrals and the quality was really nice. I'm very happy with my purchase. If this didn't launch for holiday and say they put it out right now as like a Valentine's Day release, a spring release, something like that. I would totally buy this palette because like I said, I'm, I'm always interested in NARS. I just don't want to buy re-promoted things. Now, if they come out with this palette in the future, but it's a little different with some of the same shades, 
I'm not gonna buy it again because I already have it. But yeah, I'm really happy with my purchase. I think this was such a great palette from NARS and I really hope that in 2023, NARS will not just release products that they've already released before. I hope that we'll keep seeing some new things like this. Okay, let's go into number two on a super positive note too. I have the House of L from Adept. <laughs> I believe this launched in the summer, if I'm not mistaken, of 2022. But if you watched my palette ranking video, I ranked all the palettes that I tried throughout the year last year. This palette was at the tippy tippy top and that's because it's amazing. Adept is one of my favorite brands. Of course they are. I created a palette with them. I love the brand so much. I think they have such special formulas. But I pulled this palette because I just feel like this palette did not get enough hype. And this is such a fun color story. Let me just tell you, this multi-chrome right here is so amazing. If you haven't watched my video on this palette, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've used it in multiple with like Get Ready With Me as I did a Seven Looks Adept video. But I definitely did a video on this one, like a standalone video. If you wanna see swatches, all of that, this is so good. And this is that great Adept matte formula, the updated formula, the one that they launched and were using all 2022 that's so, so good. We have beautiful shimmer sparkle shades in here. I love that this was inspired by the Superman comics. It's not a Superman palette, but it definitely has that feel, that inspiration. I love that. I have a kid who loves comic books, so I totally get that inspiration. I like that we have these fun mattes. You can do something really soft if you just wanna go in with this shade right here and then put maybe one of these multi-chromes on the lid. I still have it easy, soft, but impactful. Or you can have some fun with these shades over here. This is just such a good palette. If you're a color lover, if you're a multi-chrome lover, if you love indie brands, this is the one. Okay, let's talk about a very old palette to my collection. In fact, I think I probably need to get rid of this one. It's that old. This is the Too Faced Razzle Dazzle Berry Eye Shadow Palette. So raise your hand if you remember when Too Faced was doing all their fruity themed collections back, I think they had this one, a pineapple one. I don't remember the other one. I think maybe grape or maybe it was something more neutral, I can't remember, but please let me know if you had one of these. I had like a face powder, they, it was all kinds of things. It was like the whole 2D Fruity collection. And this palette, I remember this was actually a gift. I think this was a Christmas gift from a friend. And this palette was spectacular at the time that it launched. So, so good. We had some kind of like creamy shimmer shades in there that looked really impactful on the lid. We had a matte with sparkle to it, which I feel like we didn't see a whole lot at the time. Now, if Too Faced were to put out a palette like this today, I wouldn't be rushing to buy it. Too Faced, I think, makes a nice eyeshadow formula, but I wouldn't say it's like my favorite, and I definitely have purple palettes from indie brands that I like a lot more. So if this were to come out from Too Faced right now, I, I wouldn't repurchase it, but let me say, all the Tutti Fruity makeup was scented, and this palette, is so old, but it still smells. <laughs> like I still have that berry scent. Is that crazy? I, I really liked this. I got a lot of use out of it. I'm sure you can see in the pan. Now this may be one that I don't have a video here on my channel with because it's that old. Like it is that old, but super pretty. Uh, you know, I would like to see Too Faced release some cute products like this again. Usually, too Faced does do cutesy type stuff. And at holiday, we see them do a lot of food themed makeup, but it can be kind of repetitive. So yeah, who knows? Maybe we'll see some fun things from Too Faced again, but th th this one probably needs to go in the declutter pile right now because this is very, very, very old. Okay, let's talk about Fantasy Cosmetica. So this palette was sent to me from the brand. If Fantasy Cosmetica did not send this to me, I would have bought it because 
I like the brand. They make some great palettes. They have some fun color stories and I really, really enjoy it. If something happens and Fantasy Cosmetica decides, you know what, we don't wanna send Heather our stuff I'll, I'll keep buying it because they make a fun color stories and great products. So this was a super fun color story. We have multi-chromes in this palette. We have shimmers, we have mattes. I think this is such a fun palette. I can really see like the fun aspect that the creator was coming from when they put this color story together, the brand. Like they did a great job. I really like this mix of pinks and blues, but then we also have this touch of green down here and this deep plum purple. I think this works really well with all the other mattes in here so that you can use this to deepen up if you want. I think they did a great job on this palette. I'm super happy I have it. If somebody came and stole this palette from me right now, I would be on the website buying myself another one. Okay, this palette right here is the You Beauty palette from Glaminatrix. This was my first time ever purchasing from the brand. Glaminatrix is an Australian-based indie brand. They're a woman-owned brand. I had heard so many great things about Glaminatrix and their shadows and their products and just how special they were. So when they started teasing the You Beauty palette, I was like stalking their Instagram looking for updates. And when they announced a release day, I had my alarm set. And I don't regret this whatsoever. I don't know if they still make this palette, but this is definitely one. If it disappeared from my collection, if some crazy multi-chrome maniac came and tried to take it from me, I would definitely be on the Glaminatrix site buying it again, or I would be emailing them like, please bring it back if it's discontinued. I love this. This shade right here, Good Day, is such a gorgeous multi-chrome. It's so intense. And I remember getting this palette and just falling in love. Now, I do have a video on this one. The only one that I'm gonna talk about that I don't have a video on was that Too Faced palette. So I have, I think, multiple videos with this palette too. This is such a cool curation of colors. Like, I love that we have this kind of blue trio right here. Then we have this yellow, almost green leading trio right here. We have like these pinky, red, mauve, warm brown, type of colors that go together. And then these also play well together too. I feel like if you're looking at this palette, you're not used to color, you may be like, I don't know what to do with that. Hey, hello, I'm here. <laughs> I'm here to give you color inspiration to show you how I use this palette with my videos. There's tons of other creators too. I love pairing colors together, hopefully inspiring y'all. When you see a palette, you don't know what to do with it or maybe shopping your stash. But this is one that when I look at this still, even I think this launched two years ago, two years, maybe even longer, I don't know. But still, when I look at this palette, I feel inspired, I feel creative, and it's such good quality. Glaminatrix has been a brand that's been a lot of fun for me. I'm always interested to see what are they gonna do next. Okay, let's talk about a creator collab palette, and that is a new collab, well, newer. It hasn't been around super long. This is the Tropicolor palette from Sydney Grace and The Fancy Face. So I've been subscribed to Tina for such a long time, and I knew when she was releasing this collab with Sydney Grace that I had to have it. I totally see Tina when I look at this palette. I know that Tina is from Jamaica, and I love that we have the white, the yellow, the green, the black, and then I see like the island vibe in this palette too with this color story. I bought this palette and I don't regret it at all. I think Tina and Sydney Grace did a great job on this palette. I've had a lot of fun creating with it. Sydney Grace makes really beautiful shimmer metallic shades that are very smooth and I think they're flattering on all lids. If you have texture on your lids, anything like that, you're really gonna like these shimmers too. I think they're just a very beautiful and flattering. I love the mattes that she chose and I love that with these kind of blue shades, 
we have three different shades instead of just one blue because I really like to use, if I'm gonna use a dark blue, a lot of times I like to use a light blue too. Not always, but you know, a lot of times. So I like that we have these options. I mean, they just did a great job on this one and I'm so happy I bought it. If they put this collab out today, I would buy it. Okay, let's talk about Hindash. This one, I kind of debated. I was like, is this an eyeshadow palette? Is this a face palette? But overall, this is the Monochrom Monochromance palette from Hindash. And yeah, this is an eyeshadow palette. I mean, maybe we have four shades that I'll use on the face, but we definitely have two shades that are for the eyes. And I'm pretty sure this isn't, yeah, just a pressed pigment palette. So I did not buy the first palette from Hindash. But I heard so much hype about it that I'm like, next time Hindash puts out a palette, I'm going to buy it. And I am happy that I bought this palette. I did a video with both of the palettes with some other products from Hindash. And I like this, but I will say I don't reach for it. And... I liked it. I'm glad I bought it because I wanted to test it. I wanted to try it. I want to see, I wanted to see what the hype was about and I got to do that. And for that reason, like I don't regret my purchase, you know, but if this palette, like if it, say somebody came up here and they were like, give me that palette right now. I'd be like, sure, take it. Peace. I wouldn't be hopping on Beautylish to buy this again. Again, I like this, but it's just, it's, it's not what I'm reaching for. If I want a teal blue turquoise eyeshadow look, I'm going to be reaching for my pigmented shadows. If I want a purple look, I'm going to be reaching for my pigmented shadows. And although I can use this palette, I just never reach for it. I mean, if we're being honest, I just have other things in my collection that I like better. So I'm happy I tried it. I don't regret buying it. But if Hindash releases another palette in this same format, I'm not going to be purchasing it. Now, if Hindash does decide to do like a face palette specifically or an eyeshadow palette with some more pigmentation, something like that, I will definitely be interested because I did try some other products from the brand. That liquid liner, amazing. I liked the lip products. I liked the liquid highlighter I have. This just, I'm happy I got to try it, but it's not necessary to my collection. Okay, I have a few more to talk about. I wanted to pull this one from Beauty Bay. I never regret a Beauty Bay purchase. Honestly, their eyeshadow palettes are always so good. I have several of their rainbow palettes, several of their curated like color story palettes. I have some of their monochromatic palettes, but my favorite ones are the curated color story palettes. So whenever, I mean, look at that color story. Are you kidding me? It's so beautiful. Whenever Beauty Bay releases a palette in this format, that's not monochromatic, that's not rainbow, but that is a fun color story, I'm always interested. I don't always buy them, but I'm always interested. And I bought this one because look at it. Greens, neutrals, blues, purples, white, black, I, I mean, dark blue, dark gray, sparkle black, purple, like everything. The mattes in here are beautiful. The shimmers in here are beautiful. <laughs> different formulas in here. Beauty Bay does a great job of bringing different formulas to palette, not just mattes, not just shimmers, but they give you some mattes with shimmers, some intense sparkly shades. A lot of times they'll put duo chromes in their palette and it's always at like that under $20 price point, which we love, we love. If you are looking for an eyeshadow palette and you, want to keep it simple. You want to maybe like try colors. You want to dip your toes in with color, but you don't want to spend a ton of money. Definitely look at Beauty Bay. They make great palettes. All right, Nomad Cosmetics. This palette right here was sent to me from the brand. If they didn't send it to me, I would have been buying this palette because I really like this color story. This palette is so pretty. <laughs> it's so pretty to me. To me, this is a very like 90s inspired color story. When I see this, like do y'all remember the denim dresses and the just the denim that had like 
daisies printed on it. That's what I see when I look at this. Like the daisies that were that were like basically like painted on the denim. If I can find a photo, I'll pop one up of like what I'm thinking. But this palette, like that's the vibe I get. That 90s vibe, like Blossom, the TV show. I get that from this palette. We have these like washed out denim shades, these really like washed out purples. And then we just have like these 90s warm tones over here. I love it. I think it's a fun, unique color story. I can't like think of something in my collection right away that like is the same as this color story. And that, that it's unique and it's the great Nomad formula that I like, make this super, super special. We have these two, well, this shimmer shade right here especially is like pink with this beautiful like purpley blue sparkle to it. We have some intense shimmers, beautiful mattes. If this one disappeared from my collection, I'd be buying it again for sure. All right, last but not least is the palette on my eyes today. This is the Ace Beauté Palette Opoly Palette. This was fun. So this launched in the summer and I had not tried Ace Beauté in years. I know they went through a reformulation. They redid some of their palettes, but this was a palette that I was like, I have to have that. It's like this matching game where you did your eyeshadow. So I have a video on this with swatches and two looks, like one where I'm playing the game, one where I'm doing a look on my own. I'm wearing it in this look today and I've just had fun with this palette. This palette has this nice, huge mirror in here. And then we have such a fun collection of shades. I really like this hot pink. I like that we have some purples. Of course, today I'm sticking with these olives and kind of brown tones over here, this green and yellow, but this is really fun, almost like chaotic looking color story. When you first see it, you could be like, what am I going to do with that? But if you really look at it and kind of break down the colors, I think this is so fun and I've loved every look that I've created with this palette. I really like that we have some blue, some brown, like I said, just a really, really pretty curation of colors. I've enjoyed it. If this disappeared, I would have to buy it again because I think it's just so, so fun. And I think Ace Beauté, like their eyeshadow formula is so, so nice. I'm so happy with my purchase. All right, y'all, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Y'all definitely let me know the last time I posted this that you really enjoyed it. And I did too. It's fun to kind of shop my stash, go through my collection, pull some palettes and talk to y'all about them. Let me know, do you still enjoy it? Do you want to keep seeing these on my channel? Because I can definitely, definitely keep this going. This is the fourth video I've done like this and I'll keep it going if y'all wanna see it. Let me tell you really quick what else I have on my face. I told you I'm wearing the Ace Beauté palette. And then let's see, I'm wearing my Juvia's Place Bronzer Duo. I'm wearing my Sigma Blush. This is the Matte Blush in Berry Love. For highlighter, I'm wearing my Oracle chrome highlighter palette from Bella Beauty Bar. This is the sun shade is the one that I have on today. And then lips, 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 lips. I'm wearing Unearthly Cosmetics Chilling Liquid Lipstick. And don't be afraid of green gloss. Do not be afraid of green gloss. This from NYX is Tara. This was part of their Netflix Winks. I love those glosses. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're having an amazing day. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. I have lots of fun videos coming and I will see you then. Bye.